I want to talk about a trick that everyone on TV news uses, at least the, the, the lame stream. Once you know this trick, you'll see it everywhere. And you'll be a better consumer of fake news. You'll spot it. You'll spot it from a mile away. You'll see their deceit. And no one else will. Everyone else will get tricked. You'll see the true story. So here's the deal. 60 Minutes, Sunday. Their accusation against Ron DeSantis is that he accepted $100,000 from Publix. Publix is a grocery store. It's a billion of them in Florida. He accepted $100,000 to his upcoming campaign. In return, he rewarded Publix with the exclusive rights, that's important, the exclusive rights to distribute the vaccine across the state. It's a play-to-play, pay-to-play accusation. Make sense? So, 60 Minutes did an entire story on this claim. I want to play this one-minute clip just to start it off here. Now, I want just let's just watch this as a uh, a casual person. You're a regular person. Uh, you, know, you just happen to turn on 60 Minutes. You're like an average, middle of the road sort of political person, and you don't know the tricks. All right, so just watch this casually, and and see what you think about it. Here it is. We wanted to ask Governor DeSantis about the deal, but he declined our request for an interview. We caught up with him south of Orlando. Publix, as you know, donated $100,000 to your campaign, and then you rewarded them with the exclusive rights to distribute the vaccination in So Palm first Beach. of all, that, what you're saying is wrong. How, how is that not pay to that, play? That's a fake narrative. I met with the county mayor, I met with the administrator, I met with all the folks at Palm Beach County, and I said, Here's some of the options. We can do more drive-through sites. We can give more to hospitals. We can do the Publix. And they said, we think that would be the easiest thing for our residents. So but Melissa that. McKinley, the county commissioner in the Glades, told us the governor never met with her about the Publix deal. The criticism is that it's pay to play, and it's governor. wrong, it's wrong, it's a fake narrative. I just disabused you of the narrative and you don't care about the facts because obviously I laid it out for you in a way that is irrefutable. Well, I, I and so like, it's clearly not. Isn't there the nearest no, public? No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, away. you're wrong. Yes, That's sir. That's actually a fact. Okay. Did you catch the edits? Did you catch all the edits there? Here's the key you need to know. When you watch TV interviews or something like that, whenever they cut away, whenever the camera angle changes, whenever the camera shot changes, they're usually, or possibly, if not usually, editing something out, right? So let's say you have someone being interviewed and the interviewer, right? So the interviewer asks a question, then the camera goes over to the person uh, answering the question. And they answer, and they answer, and they answer. And then randomly, the camera cuts back to the person asking the questions. And they're, they're like nodding away, like, hmm, yes, yes, yes. And then they cut back to the person answering. Why do they do that? There's an edit there. They, if they kept the camera on the person talking the whole time, then you would have seen like a jump cut because they would have been talking like this and then all of a sudden they're like over here. So they have to move the camera angle away, they make the edit and then they bring it back. Almost every time the camera changes, there's an edit. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.